Hello everybody. It has been a really long time since I have done a video. So I am working here in my little creative mess and um, on this. And this journal has been taking me a really long time to do. Not because of anything to do with this journal in particular. It's just I work on it and then I had a custom order come in and I stepped away. And then I started to work on it and I had another custom order come in and I stepped away. So here I am. I really want to try and finish it. I did press go, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is what I have so far. It is a soft cover journal. The only thing is that I did reinforce the the spine a bit. Um, and honestly, I, I just this is that fabric paper stuff. And it's just two layers of fabric paper. I think I might have put some tie back in, but honestly, it's been so long, I don't remember. <laughs> I think there's some tie back in there and it is um a uh, traveler's notebook style with the elastic and i made one of these recently it's a um specimen card in the manner that artie mays made them recently um only she used foam and i don't have any foam so i used corrugated cardboard and these are tracy labels that i printed out on um tracing paper and my printer is kind of not very good but what happened is because it's not very good and it was kind of smudgy I think it gave it kind of an older look anyway and there's a magnet there so that just goes in right there and then I have one of my little insects here on the front and it's got a magnet I put a little magnet under that field notes label so that little bug um can can go there and I think what I'll probably wind up doing is I'll probably wind up using some of my um my creations like this in it and the rest I'll put in um I a, a, some kind of material to tuck in there and so that'll be interchangeable which I thought was kind of fun and so here are all hand inked and dyed papers this is the negative of a die cut. It's just a tuck spot. This is just what I have so far. Uh, that's alcohol inked. This is a leaf print with acrylic dyes that I made on a jelly print. And the, that, the papers are all in um, other videos that I've made. And I will try to remember to link those below. So these are the results of all those endeavors. And now I'm just, I just need to do tucks and um, uh, spots. There's one little tuck that I made. Um, and this is a, a tracing paper, inked tracing paper pocket. So it has a very crunchy feel to it. That's the center. Another, the other side of that tracing paper pocket. So yeah, so what I was working on was this page. I'm going to try and go front section, back section, front section, back section. And so then I made some of these leaves. Um, so this is, these are alcohol inks that I uh, put onto a piece of Bristol board and I had gel, mat, gel mediumed the, the Bristol board. And then I used the alcohol inks and then I glued on some watch parts. So I have some of these. And this is a, um, a stamped label that I also have splotched some distressed inks. And uh, this is a corrugated cardboard negative that I made from the front of that. So I'm just going to put those on there, I think like that. But then I was thinking... I don't know if this is too white compared to this, but then I was thinking, well, whatever I stick in here as a tuck, I'll make sure it has some deeper color. So that will just be the background. So I think I'm going to leave that and not actually do anything to that. I just have to glue this on. So this is just a craft with me. I'm just wanted to load up put up a video because I hadn't done one in so long so I hope everybody out there is well
we're all good. It's a beautiful, warm October day here in Massachusetts. And it was a long work week. Um, last weekend was Columbus Day weekend. And it was a very adventurous weekend for us. My son and I, my son bought a boat um, up north of Boston. And we sailed it home uh, together. It was a very fun trip. There was had been several days of easterly wind, so there were big rollers outside of Boston and uh, made for for an exciting trip. But the boat handled it beautifully, absolutely beautifully. So that was fun. And let's see, we've been having to boil our water for almost two weeks now because they've detected E. coli in the water supply for four towns. And one of the towns had their boil water lifted yesterday, but the rest of us did not, which is very frustrating. Yep, so that's gonna go there. And then I'm gonna need something to tuck in, in there. And I have, um, this is inked tracing paper. I was thinking I could, I could use that maybe. Set this aside, but I need to attach some, some kind of writing something on there. I'm just looking through my, I guess I'm really low on coffee dyed paper. I some tissue paper. Could I glue tissue paper on the back of tracing paper? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I suppose you can write on tracing paper. Let me see, what have I got up here in front of me? Where is, I have a whole envelope of tags. Oh, I don't know if you could hear that, but there's, our neighbors have a giant surplus army truck. And every time it goes by, it sounds like there's an airplane landing. <coughs> um. Oh my gosh. What's this? Oh, no, those are book pages. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna cut this. So that the that for something else and then I think I'll fold it so it's kind of booklet shaped and then do I want to use a I have all these oops that's not what I meant to grab I've got that label that might label might be too similar to the um, one that's on there already. That one might be good. I could use that little label across the top and maybe one of these other bugs. I've got a bug. Seems like the edges of that need to be done up in something. Got, what have I got? I've got weathered wood, got speckled egg. I think something, I had been using something a little bit more intense. Yeah, tumbled glass. Oh, that's very blue though. Let's see, do I have anything greeny, more green? No. 
salvage patina. Oh, and there's always peeled paint. I love I love me some peeled paint. I'll do some peeled paint. Okay. And now I gotta find a an acceptable. Oh, there it is. There's my peeled paint. Thingamajig. Oh, can't pick it up. Oh, I like that. I tell you, this peeled paint goes with just about everything I use. I do. I really love it. It works well for vintagey stuff. It works well for botanical. It's working well for this. Okay. So there's some peeled paint along the edges. And let's see, glue. I think I will just do the body so that the wings can fly free. Okay, and then I'll do the label. I think I'll do the label offset. No, I'll do the label like that. So what else is new? Um, I think once I finish this, I know I've, everybody. I know everybody's doing Christmas right now. I don't feel ready for Christmas. I have a couple of journals I made last Christmas. And I have my Christmas journal that I didn't fill last Christmas, thinking that I could use it for more than one Christmas. So while I do love making the, doing the whole Christmas thing, I don't think I'm ready for it. I may not you do a lot of Christmas this year, like in terms of making journals. But I do have some beautiful Asian-themed digitals and Asian-themed um, papers that um, I've been meaning to break out. And I also got some origami paper that I wanna play with. So I'm thinking maybe that's what I'll do next. There we go. See, now I don't think that's too white because of this, the little booklet here and the copper dots in this, pick up the copper dots in that. Okay, so let's go back to the front. Let's do something in the front. Maybe that page. I've already done that page. I need to do like this. I need to use, or I really want to use, some of these die cuts that I made. I suppose I could also use those as tag toppers. So there's that. And maybe I need a, a tag. I have this piece of, um, I love using this stuff too, This the side is perforated because I tore this out of a mixed media journal. And this is makes really nice collage fodder. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a maple leaf right there. So that would make a really nice journaling card. Let's cut that out. And that will make a maple leaf journaling card to go with that maple leaf there. Almost like a ghost of a print of maple leaf. So, and we'll use that for something else. It is a little tall. So, oh, I'm kind of loath to cut it. 
it's just a smidge too tall. All right, so I'm going to cut off this bit here. Like so. And then I kind of want that same distance over here. So now I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Don't do too much. And then I'm going to round the corners. Like that. And then... Since that has a little bit more on it, I'll make that the topper. But then I need something to put it in, to tuck it into. Maybe I'll just do one like that. I kind of like that better. And I think I kind of want, hmm. I don't want to cover this up because this is a really pretty print of, of the backside of something. So maybe this should be a corner tuck up like that, in which case the leaf, Or maybe the leaf is maybe the leaf is the tuck. Ah, how about that? The leaf could be the tuck for that. Ah, if I po poke that up into the corner. like that and then that will stick up like that yep that's simple enough so i'm gonna just using some tacky glue i also have some art glitter glue here i i have some Beacon 3-in-1 and some Fabri-Tac, but I find the Beacon 3-in-1 and the Fabri-Tac um, do bad things <clears throat> to this metallic paper. So I'm trying to avoid using that. Um, and the Art Glitter Glue is, is really good glue. I've not, I've, there's no good reason not to use that. I'm just not using it. <laughs> okay. So that's going to go like that, and then that's going to tuck up underneath there. Do I want to use one of these labels on here? Mm, no, but what about the back? Maybe I just need to ink the back. Um, and I will use my peeled paint again, I think. There we go. Just to give it a finished look. And that also picks up some of the yellow that's in there. I love how this came out. This, I think that's because of the salt that I used when I did the papers. Now, can you see all the crinkly, crickly there between the leaves? I just love that. Okay. So that's going to just slide up in there. And there we go. All right. So let's go to the back and do something in the back. What needs, what needs a little pick-me-up? 
could be. Oh, I forgot. I stuck that in the middle just because I thought it would be fun. You could journal all around that. That one's beautiful, but it needs, it needs a little something or another. It needs maybe a creature. Do it need a creature and a leaf? Creature on a leaf? And does that creature on a leaf need to be functional or just decorational? And do I want to put it down here and then glue down in sequence so it's a tuck? I think I do. Now, what do we think? Glue should we use? Let's try the art glitter glue. I also just got this, this Coco Cocoina. Uh, it's I'm using it instead of glue sticks because you get a nice big pot of it. It comes with this cute little brush um, and it behaves very much like beeswax. So it's a solid in here, but as soon as you start scraping it, it changes more into a more of a liquid. And so far, I'm happy with it. Still, still, the jury is still not entirely set. But um, I really have been feeling bad about the glue sticks. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I've been feeling bad about the glue sticks because um, there's so much plastic and you waste so much glue and they're not cheap. So I was wanted to come up with an alternative. And I know um, Rachel from Roxy Creations used that Cocoina for a while, um, a while ago. And then Tracy Fox uh, reminded me of, of the Cocoina. And I think the first time I went to look for it, I couldn't find it, but this time Amazon had it. So I'm gonna give that a try. So I'm just going to do the edges of those two things with glue and it will be a corner tuck. So there and here. Kind of have that leaf sticking out just a little bit. This is damp. Okay. And now something to tuck in there. Maybe we'll come back to the tucking and things because I need to find my envelope full of full of um, uh, tag shapes. Oh, I'm just looking through my papers on the side. I have some more cardstock. I've got this piece that we cut off before. That's awfully similar, don't you think? To what's there? Maybe. Here, let's let's cut it and see how it looks. Maybe it'll make a good journaling card. Um, sorry, I'm off camera here. I will be back in a gif. Here's the off cut, and here's the main cut. <coughs> so if that slides, ooh. It just works, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's round the corners. Round the corners. And let's ink the edges 
on the back here. Again, I'm using peeled paint. I like how it's adding a little yellow because everything's very green and blue. And there's, yep, there's a little yellow in there. Okay, so if that tucks in there, does it need anything else? Does it need a buggy topper? Bucky focal point? I don't think so because that I think will detract from this A label. I don't think it needs it. I'm going to leave that be. I might come back and change my mind and add something, but I'm going to let that be for now. Okay, back to the front. Maybe I should do another one of these magnet things. That's kind of fun. I love those pages there. I don't think those need anything. I love this tracing paper one. Do need something to tuck in here. Do a small journaling card with this. And let's do this. Now this journaling card is a little less exciting than some of the others. So let's add something to this one. I think this might be a good place because that's a little bit more blue. Yep. Oh, should we make that? And No, let's just glue her on. Let's glue that straight on. And I'm just going to do the body. I mean, it's already so dimensional with the little watch parts. Oh, I like that. Let's trim that off there. And I don't even think the back needs anything. It's just pretty. And I like how the, um, the card fills the space of the leaf there. All right. That was straightforward and simple. Okay, let's move to the back. Ooh, yeah, this definitely needs something. I have more of the, I think I, I thought I did. Have another, yeah, I have another tuck type thing here. Maybe it should go this way. And I'll do it kind of a top corner one. I think it needs to be this way. Those upside down leaves bother me. Like that. <clears throat> this really needs something though. Um, that's that pocket. Eh, I'm not feeling that. Um, I could... what's around it. I have this coppery blue stencil, but it doesn't really go. It's a little bit too blue and purple. I have some off cuts of the other. I have one of these. Oh, I could maybe it needs a belly band. It's still so white. Hmm. How about a stencil? I have 
a, oh, there are the tags I was looking for. See? Um, I have a Lavinia stencil that I've been very happy with. Oh, that's sliding. Oh, to avalanche. Okay, let's see. Not the bubbles, but I have this kind of seaweedy one. But I don't think I want the, um, don't think I want the peeled paint. I think I want something less yellow. These are all the blues. I thought I had some greener greens. Oh, thanks to Avalanche. Nope. Walnut stain, purple. Ah, we have Rustic Wilderness. Let's see how Rustic Wilderness works. Something's leaking. Got, I don't know what that is. Yikes. Oh dear. It must have been some water leaking onto my frayed burlap, I think. Hmm. Oh no. It's making a mess. Okay. Alright, I need a new wipe. <clears throat> Mess, 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 mess. Oh, inky mess. Put those back. Okay. Yikes. <clears throat> okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Um, let's use a use a brushy thing. <clears throat> I have some makeup brush things. And I have a greenish one here, over here. Okay. I don't want to go on too heavy handed. blue oh you know what I had some bluish stuff on here and that's why it's blending that's okay I like it see how it gets onto the surface of the stencil <clears throat> well that will blend with whatever you use next but I don't mind it's mixed media right Just a little too much white. All right, let's see how that went. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Okay, let's cover this. And let's see, do we want Now let's let's cut this down. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> that kind of looks like a tree now to me. And fold that. Oh, it's got copper on the other side. Silly me. All right, let's cut that off there. And then do we want that? We want it in the middle. That's not, that's not doing it for me. How about some of these leaves? Dragonfly. I've also got some other little die cuts here. And we could I do have a leaf, I think still, or maybe I used it of this kind. What do you think? Does it need I don't think so. That would be too much. I've got a mechanical leaf. Three different kinds. Ooh, I've also got one of these left. How about that? Yeah. Yep. That's it. All right. So I think this might need some metallic edging though. What do I have? I have Inca gold. I've got some Inca gold here. Just, yeah. Go around the edges. So the um, the watch parts I ordered from um, Amazon, and they come in this little container. And I just use uh, glossy accents to glue them on and it does a beautiful job holding them. I'm just dipping it. There we go. That works just as well. Okay. Set that aside to dry for a moment. <clears throat> and let's glue. I'm just going to get the ink of gold off my finger. It's water soluble if you're not familiar with it. Um, it's good stuff. Okay. All right, so I'm going to glue this down. Do I want it like that? So you can see we want it as a tuck. Hold on. Let's just look at this for a second. So you can see that behind it. More like that. 
or on the edge. Oh, maybe on the edge, an edge tuck, I think. I like that better. All right, so we're gonna do that right on the edge. Some art glitter glue to hold that down. Just like that. <clears throat> All right, actually, maybe I will do the edge here since it's going to be a tuck and not a belly band. Okay. And we wanted this kind of centered. <clears throat> so this is more of the um, uh, alcohol inked um, bristol board with a metallic paper, Tim Holtz metallic paper die cut <clears throat> glued on top for a little bit of a layered effect. And then I liked this down here. Make sure I get this little stemmy bit. <clears throat> Our glitter glue really is so good for and strong and it holds quickly and firmly and lasts. It's really an excellent glue. I just ordered my next like year supply of it. Um, this is a 16 ounce 48, 480 milliliter uh, bottle because you can't order it in the winter time. They won't ship it in the winter time. Um, so I ordered some now before the weather turns. I need a dry. All my wet wipes are wet, not dry. Ah, uh, well, got my fingerprints there. Okay, and then what did I just put my drying one? Here we go. It's a little bit of gilding uh, Inca gold. And then that's gonna go like that as well. So we've got a tuck. We just need something to tuck in there. I might come back to that. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to stop there for a little while. Um, but thank you for joining me. And um, this will wind up being listed in um, my Etsy store and I will do a flip through when we get there. So we actually did quite a few things. Um, oh, I think I like that one the best. It does come out, doesn't it? Yeah, it comes out. <laughs> so thank you for joining me and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.